Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Tartul, and as I promised, I'm going back with another build. This time we are taking a look on the Stealth Commando, as I hear you guys, and I modify it to be able to do everything with it, and be almost as good as it used to be. Of course, damage was reduced a little bit, but... I will show you first that it's not a problem. But before we start, I have two new Patreons that I would like to welcome. It's Wintermute71 and Norby007. Welcome into Tartus Army, guys. I truly appreciate your support. And now, maybe let's start from my strongest weapon. I'm joking, of course. Suppressed automatic pipe rifle that I just crafted and tweaked automatic receiver because this character does not have powerful automatic and this moment my stealth commando is on my alt account. 153, my level is 153 in here. Okay, for a starter, let's try to sneak on some high level ghouls like this level 75. And I keep in mind, I'm using this non-legendary Freshly crafted pipe rifle. I'm not like super crazy geared up. Of course, I have correct armor, pretty solid, but that's mainly to do not get detected all the time. It's an yielding with shadowed mod installed. I will show you all the gear later as usually, but look at that. It's not a problem. I mean, it's a little bit less damage, but not something that you will truly notice in case of Stealth Commando on everyday gameplay. You will notice on the bosses, like I will not go with Pipe Rifle to kill Scorpy Queen because it will take insane amount of time for absolutely no reason. But as you can see, I'm fine. Zero problem with those high level ghouls with this Pipe Rifle. Just aim for the head and use the criticals. That's important, but that's included in this build. And now maybe a little bit more weapons and let's join a daily op, but two people are doing daily op in here. I would like to start solo, then I will swap a team maybe. Oh, in this team no one is doing daily op, then let's try it. And in today's daily op we have super mutants in Valley Galleria that have a slowing freezing attack. Let's go there, of course. Sneak will not work. And here I'll be rotating the weapons slightly. I will not go through all the op with a pipe rifle. It's not optimal. So but I don't have a jetpack in here. Okay, let's use the stairs then. Need some light. Can I kill him with this pipe rifle? Yeah, I can without sneaking. Not too bad. Oh, let me grab it. Go away. I will lose because of you super mutants. Let me grab it then. Come on, let me grab it. Seriously. They don't want me to succeed and I would really like to succeed with this op. Uh, let's go. There's no time to waste. Need to capture the next point. Let's run. Let's run faster. The next point is just over there. And I need to capture it. Let's use Stimpak just in case and capture the uplink. Boost it up. Yeah, I got it. And now maybe some other weapons. I have a nice collection. That's enough of this automatic pipe rifle. Two shot 10 mil submachine gun. That's a fun gun, as you can see. That's a truly fun gun. It wrecks them, totally wrecks them. You can use it in VATS and why I have it? Because it's quite effective without VATS too. You don't need VATS for it and that's important if we'll get a daily op with super mutants or any other faction that's invisible, then if there will be this mutation, I will be fine with this 10 mil submachine gun. Though the durability is a problem on TSE weapons, but if you don't use it all the time, then that's just fine. Then that's 10 mil submachine gun, two shot explosive, works. What else do we have? We have this fixer that's vampire. 
Let's see. Vampire Fixer. Yeah. That, that totally wrecks them. And I'm not sneaking. Keep in mind, there is no sneak bonuses. I just run and gun because we are doing daily op. Okay. No problem with this one. And I'm in the Nerd Rage without any camps at this moment. Not truly boosted. Uh, what's this one? That's a quad. Then no damage bonus, but higher clip size. All right. Quad is doing perfectly fine. And no need to reload. For DPS, quad is actually one of the best rolls. Then, and generally fixers are really good. Even if you have non-legendary fixer, you will be doing as well as I'm doing here. My only advantage is higher clip size, but I'm still usually reloading before I'm able to use 20 bullets because, you know, habits. Okay, what's next on the list? Uh, next one is instigating fixer. That's a nice one. It's one of my favorites for farming. Look at that. Instigating is a beast. Yeah, one of the best weapons instigating at this moment. If you can, take instigating rifle. Although almost everything works and is great, but instigating saves you ammo. And it usually works for one on the first two bullets. It's not just one. Quite often, if you shoot fast, it's first two bullets. Like this guy, first two bullets did the same damage. Next, okay. Next capture point and couple more weapons after that. Don't freeze me, I need to run, not this way. I need to run. I like those ops. Those are perfect to demonstrate the builds. And usually without interference, I'm solo. I mean, I'm on the team, but solo in the op. And by the way, you probably noticed that I don't have problem with tanking those shots. Just occasional steam packs, all that I really need. All right, we finished with fixers. Now I have this one star bloodied handmaid. Not too shabby either, let me equip it. Okay, bloodied handmaid in action. No problem. Definitely not the power from before the nerf in case of bloodied and less difference between different legendary effects but that's that's nice i like it i can use multiple different legendary effects finally whatever i was storing on my mule is not just wasted there and i can use whatever i want and by using weapons with different caliber ammo i'm saving ammo i have no problem with ammo what's next anti-armor handmade the same mods just anti-armor and performing great, as expected. No problem, like, very similar performance to a bloodied. Not much difference, bloodied and this stuff. Yeah, bloodied is slightly stronger. Unless you are sneaking, then... Sneaking make it about equal. You will not go wrong with either weapon. And as you can see, works. Perfectly fine. And I need one steam pack at this point. Done. Don't have much time. I think I will use Psycho at this point. Fortunately, there's not too much damage difference, to be honest, if you use camps or if you do not use camps. All right. Final fight and the boss. We'll go with Quad Fixer. We'll see how we'll do with the boss when using a Quad Fixer. Coming. Okay, priority target, what we do. We run a little bit closer, we use a stim pack, we target the head and fire. Ah, uh, stop crippling me and staggering with those missiles. Done! 7 minutes 40 seconds solo. Not too bad, taking into consideration that start was pretty tough. Oh, I got 3 star, weightless leather left leg. And no rare rewards because I did it once already today. And now let me talk a little bit about this build. Of course you will judge if you like it or don't and obviously not everyone likes the same things but that's my approach for stealth commando plus run and gun option that's needed for daily ops. And here is the build. Maybe let's start to cover the legendary perks. I don't have too many yet, I have four. But in the same time only four is needed for this build really to shine. After those four, there is basically whatever you want. 
that that's my build. This one is very flexible. After those four legendary perks, you put whatever you like. Follow through is one of the most important, but as well, I decided to max out intelligence first because I want to grind more levels faster. That's why. And to get my special to the desirable level, I need legendary endurance and legendary luck. And from this point, I will max out follow through after I will have enough perk points. At this moment, I have just five, then there is not an option, but I'm good with this build as you are able to see it. And now regular perks. Under strength, we have blocker in case we need to tank some damage. And under perception, all the commando perks in here, tank killer in here, tank killer is the most important at this moment, you max it out always in case of commando. And I have ground pounder rank 2 instead of going for a max out concentrated fire because concentrated fire was nerfed when automatic weapons are considered, therefore I don't really need to max it out. Rank 1, Concentrated Fire, just to target head, that's all I need in here. Apart from that, damage faster reload is perfect. What I would probably even recommend doing, like keep Master Commando rank 2 and go for max out Ground Pounder. That will be a better choice where DPS is considered. You will lose a little tiny bit damage per shot, but you will get much better and faster reload and hipfire accuracy than I'm considering doing that, but at this moment I have no pick a perk option. I need to level up a couple times to do this. Then at this moment I have ground pounder rank 2. Under endurance, the key perk is fireproof. At this moment, just fireproof. Later on, life giver will be added. Under charisma, tenderizer and strength in numbers that are the most important for damage. Although when farming experience, inspirational will be great in here. I this moment I usually count on others to share inspirational, but I do have plan when I will upgrade my legendary luck more to move two points from luck into Charisma, and I will have room for Inspirational. Now, under Intelligence, this one is so high, mainly because I want the experience slightly faster. The important one is Nerd Rage, but as I have this legendary Intelligence added, I went for Gunsmith as well and Demolition Expert. Demolition Expert is only rank 1 at this moment, because basically I just have no way to upgrade it. The idea was to run max out demolition expert when using two shot explosive weapons, but that's still plan for the future as I scrap my max out demolition expert by accident, then I don't have it anymore. And when not using demolition expert, I have a scrapper in here to loot some stuff. And gunsmith is quite handy, to be honest. My weapons are not breaking too often. Now, under agility, I have through hiker, it's not necessary, it depends how much food you are carrying, but these three points, it's just very flexible. You put whatever you want. Then I have evasive, that's a great perk for the price to help you tank more damage. Then we have escape artist, that's required for sneaking and that's the ultimate sneaking perk. If you want to sneak at all, you always need this perk card equipped. Then I have white knight, when I just run and shoot without sneaking, I don't want my armor to constantly break. This helped tremendously with that. And max out adrenaline for damage. As well, it's not necessary. Rank 1 will do, but I don't really have too much to put in this spot. I could equip my covert operative and sneak, but I'm actually using those two cards when I go to fight some bosses, then if I know that I will be able to use Sneak fully, like in example for Colossal Problem, I will equip Covert Operative and Sneak, and I will kick out White Knight and Evasive as no one will be hitting me. For general purpose, I'm running like that. And if there will be enough strong players on Colossal Problem event on Scorby Queen, I will not bother swapping per cards either. It's not a much difference when you equip Covert Operative. It's a little bit, not much. And sneak not needed for me as I have already I already have shadowed unyielding. I'm good. 
and now luck. That's very important. You want 14 luck or more. The plan is to have 15. At this moment, my base luck is 12, but it will be moved, as I said, to Charisma when I max out the legendary card. And here we go. Serendipity. That's insanely powerful defensive perk for non-power armor users. And we are not using power armor on Commando. Therefore, this perk does insane value. For those of you that said that power armor have everything and power armor is OP, non-power armor players are even more OP. Don't worry about it. Serendipity, ricochet, that's additional defense for me. And apart from taking less damage, because I know there is a lot of people that prefer dodgy. What's the difference? If you have serendipity and ricochet, both those perks negates damage. What's mean not only you are not taking damage when those perks are triggered, but your equipped armor is not taking damage either. What's the important difference between dodgy and those perks? Then class freak, I'm running a bunch of mutations. I will show you, I need class freak. Star genes to keep mutations and critical savvy. That's important. That's a key per card for your damage. From all the cards that I have equipped here, this one is the most important to deal proper damage. Critical savvy. And now about the gear. My gear. The backpack. It's a chemist one because as you notice, I have a lot of steam packs and I don't have traveling pharmacy. This backpack replaces my traveling pharmacy. And it's a standard, what means small backpack. Not, not much carry weight out of it, but better than nothing and easy to get. And my armor. Plus one agility became harder to detect while sneaking. This chest piece is possibly the best troll that you can get for a sneak character. Scout armor, great stats. On top of that, you can put shadow that works. I have ultralight at this moment, but of course you can use something else depend on your needs. It does not need to be ultralight. Left arm, that's a boss piece, the important part again, unyielding and shadowed. Left leg, unyielding and shadowed. It's only two star, but I value plus one agility more than whatever I can get on the third star. Therefore this one. Unless I will have full set of sentinel, then probably it will be better, but you know how hard it is to get a full set of unyielding sentinel. Right arm. This one is again unyielding, shadowed. One perception, not really useful for anything, but that's the one I have. Right leg. This one is great. Plus one agility. Again, scout armor with shadowed mod and ultralight. Vault jumpsuit. I needed to get extra luck to ensure that every second shot will be a critical. And intelligence is handy as well for experience. And outfit that gives one perception. And yeah, that's the only reason it's in here. I already showed you all weapons in action. Then now mutations. The most important one for damage, adrenaline reaction, 50% extra damage. Bird bones, this is for sneaking, extra agility. And for VATS as well, because extra agility is extra AP. Eagle Eyes, extra damage, especially that since the last patch, since the one wasteland, criticals are way better compared to what was before. I don't know exactly what change. I will need to retest the criticals, but at this moment, I already know they are worth more than they were. Egghead for faster experience, freshly applied, so I forget about it before. Empath, I am on the team almost always. That, that's why all my characters have Empath and Herd mentality. If you mainly play solo, just don't take those two. Otherwise, go for it. Herbivore, uh, that's because I'm not using good with salt in here. Therefore, I have access to easily craftable buffs in my camp for my stealth commando, like extra AP, extra agility, and extra AP regen. That's all I basically need. I can craft in like 20 seconds. Marzupial for jumping Scully skin, because when I just run and gun, as I show you, then I value this extra resistance. And Speed Demon to run faster, reload faster, all the goodies. 
This is like my standard mutation setup for almost every character and every build. That's quickly how my special looks like. With 40 perception, you don't really need to be worried about concentrated fire. As long as target is in range, you will hit. And here you go, guys. That's my updated OP Stealth Commando build. Mainly what's changed? Like, this build is still stealth main, but have a great ability to just run and gun and tank damage and still dish out a lot of damage in the same time, then that's what change. It's overall stronger. Please let me know what you think about this build. Do you like it? Is it something that you consider using? Or are you going totally different direction? And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.